Hello, I'm Dave O'Connell with a word about what's in this week's Connacht Trivia. We have a major feature this week on the impact that emigration has had on GAA clubs in particular, but by extension on communities across both the city and county. Kieran Tierney focused on four clubs, Toom Stars, St Michael's in the city, Tarna Cashel in Connemara, and with the help of our intern and Galway Camogie star, Clodagh McGrath, Kiltormer Camogie Club. And the results are staggering as our world map shows. Toom Stars, for instance, have lost 20 adult players over the last six years. Six members of the Karna Cashel team that started the county final nine years ago are gone, as are three of the subs. And this is in an area without a huge pick of players in the first place. Eight of the 15 St. Michael's players who won the All-Ireland Intermediate title in 2008 are gone. Kiltormer have lost nine of the 15 who won the 2009 county intermediate title. It's not just the GAA that's hit by all of this, of course, but it brings home the scale of the emigration story as a generation makes its home away from home. Other than that, we have the Galway connections of the new Rose of Tralee, and while Mayo claims Maria Walsh, she went to school in Hedford, and on stage this week she remembered her beloved cousin who was tragically killed in a car crash on the N17 outside Milltown back in 2009, but it was a night to remember for her family and her mother's family in Lethermore in particular. We have loads on the frenzy of students looking for accommodation in Galway after this week's CAO offers and like the rest of the university cities we simply don't have enough rented space to go around. We also have loads more on last week's Leaving Cert results with happy faces from right across the county. Now local councillor Michael Fahey may land himself in hot water with his proposal as to who should or indeed who shouldn't be recruited to construct the new Gort to Tume motorway. He wants Irish workers to get priority on the jobs ahead of those, as he puts it, from Poland, Latvia or Lithuania. And in sport, it's a big weekend for a number of Galway teams. The under-21 hurlers faced Wexford in the All-Ireland semi-final. The defending All-Ireland Camogie, senior Camogie champions take on Kilkenny in their semi-final. And the county's under-16 Camogie team faced Tipperary in the All-Ireland final. So a busy weekend and we have previews of all. So all of that and loads more in this week's paper in the shops from early this Thursday morning and every Thursday morning or you can download our digital edition at connotribune.ie or indeed download the free app and get a week's free subscription. Mm-hmm.